What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. This week we've got another alpha of For the Warp, the space fleet, well not even like space fleet, but the big badass spaceship faster than light card game that we played probably about four months ago in the initial itch.io release. Well, they sent me actually a personal, I mean they, they sent it over on DMs on Twitter, and so they were like, hey we've got a new alpha, you should check this out, it's on Steam now. And I was like, okay, so I will check out your Steam alpha. So let's check out For the Warp. Let's see how it's changed. I assume they've probably made some balance passes. We found some pretty OP stuff the last time we played the game. Let's dive on in here. So we've got the Standard Frigate. Originally called the Panhuman Standard Frigate Mark 7. It provides a versatile set of features from the perfectly balanced plasma cannons to sensible equipment capacity. It is the most balanced choice for hauling cargo and facing enemy threats. Also, it's shaped like a shoe. The nearest warp gate was destroyed, and you had no option but to take the longest route. This was a dangerous system, far away from the nearest pan-human controlled system. You carry a valuable cargo. Maybe not entirely legal or ethical, but enough to make all this worth it. Just maybe. You found your way into a big market station. You need to prepare for the journey ahead. Spend your money wisely. So we've got Inspiring Shot. We deal 5 damage through the target and draw a card. Deals 3 damage for every Plasma card in your hand. We've got Ammunition Spares, which is a free card that does an extra 3 damage. We've got Type 5 Shields right there, which is an equipment. How much money do I have? I have 100 bucks. Alright, listen. I want the shields. Let's get some, let's get some dope shields out here. I will also take the ammunition spares. We got a thief drone. Deals one damage to target. You gain five credits. Hmm. I don't know. I'll probably go inspiring shot, maybe. Nice. So here we are. Uh, we can move pretty much in any direction that we want to. If we run out of fuel, I'm pretty sure like bad things happen. Uh, these are enemies right here. I think we need to get to. Oh, there's a distress signal over there. All right, let's move diagonally. I'm sure it'll be okay. Use the cards to attack your enemies or charge the shields on your ship. Right, 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 right. I'm I'm aware. All right. I've played some card games, bruh. All right, I'm just going to charge up my shields real quick. Because I'm feeling it. He's going to do three to nine damage. That feels bad. All right, well, let's shoot guns at him then. Yeah, how you like me now? Shanana na na He hit me for five damage, dude. How could you? All right, shields up. Everybody shields up. Uh, let's do... Maybe I'll get a free card. You never know. Exactly. See? That's what I was gambling for right there. I was hoping I would get a free card. So the basic way that the combat works is you've got three energy. You've got your HP right here. You've got your shields right here. You've got the amount of AP that you can play. The AP is listed on the card in the top left. Pretty standard stuff if you've ever played a card game before. Uh, we've also got ourselves... 10 ship fuel, which apparently is pertinent because I guess we maybe use it as a resource in combat every now and again. I don't know. I've never done it before. Uh, we're going all in on this turd. Let's flush him. Goodbye. What do I get? Ooh, I get a card. Okay. Shield charge. Gain three shields for each shields up or point defense in your hand. I don't really have any of those. Well, yeah, I do have shields up. Steal one fuel from the target. Ooh, that seems nice. That's probably going to be helpful for, like, winning and stuff. Uh, let's go this way. I want to go see what the distress signal is, even though we don't have enough fuel. You found a friendly scrapper ship that will scrap one of your cards and give you 20 credits for it. All right, cool. Let's do it. I think we should get rid of an attack card. That's all that I'm saying. You found another scrapper ship. All right, cool, man. Well, you know, we got to do what we got to do. I think I've still got like four. I mean, we may have problems getting enough attack going, but I'm trying to eliminate default attacks so that we only have special attacks. So we got shields. Oh my God, they're going to hit me so hard. These guys are going to hit me like a truck and they've got so much HP. Oh my God. I am terrified for my safety right now. More shields. Keep firing. Ow. All right, we can kill one of these guys. 10 to 18 damage. Oh, my goodness gracious. 10 to 18 damage? Ow, dude. 
No! I'm not ready for this combat. This combat is being a meanie face. Chat, send this combat to its room. It's being mean to me. Damn, we're getting melted right now. I think I came to the wrong neighborhood, chat. I think I, I think I chose poorly when I was deciding where I wanted to go in the neighborhood. All right, so we'll go ammunition spares on you. Maybe a little, I'm gonna, gonna like get rid of some damage here. We're kind of like hurting. All right, so we got inspiring shot right there. That gave us a plasma burst. That guy's now dead. We can also shoot him. Dude, I need some stuns or something to cancel out some of these attacks. I am getting stung right now. My ship's not looking good. We're getting beat on pretty solidly. Yeah, just keep powering. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. No, I'm at full shields. I made a poor decision tactically. Yeah, give me your fuel, fool. I want your fuel. If you're going to beat me up like this, you're going to contribute to me being able to go do other stuff. All right. Like, if I got to take the hit here, you're going to give me fuel. Bye. You had superior numbers and firepower, and somehow you still managed to lose to the old splatty wagon. Let's see. We got Photon Beam. Use five shields. Deals ten damage to target. Antimatter Blast. Deals six damage to the target. If AM Generator is in hand, deals twelve instead. I'll go with Photon Beam. We got a lot of defensive cards, so that might work out. Let's see here. Chiark Station is sparsely populated, but seems to sell some ship upgrades. Okay. We got a Twisted Fire Starter. Oh wow, they've got like a lot of fuel and it's only a dollar. One dollar for fuel, chat. How could I turn that down? Like, it's so cheap. Like, we live in the modern age and you can't get fuel for that cheap around here. And I'm gonna go this way because I don't want to die. You found a pan-human repair ship and they offered to repair 20% of your max HP. Yeah, dude, do it. Did they actually do it? I don't think they actually did it. It feels like they didn't actually do it. I don't feel like I got 20% of my HP back. Oh, there it is. It just did an update. Okay, that's cool. The free space pirate boss. This is the end of your journey. You don't get to make that declaration, you turd. Oh, you messed up now. I got photon beam. Wow! I'll put that on. What is this? Twisted fire starter? Yeah, do it. Light my enemies on fire. I want them to suffer. They receive one damage during two turns. Oh, that's not that good. Deals five damage to target. Draw a card. Yeah, let's go. All right, so we've got Twisted Fire Starter again. Give him a little bit more. Let him have it. We've got Photon Beam up and running. Yeah, give him another ten. We gotta get through those shields, man. Uh, I don't really wanna. I'm gonna refill my. I'm gonna refill my shields before I do anything else. I don't wanna leave myself like exposed or whatnot. I get the feeling he's gonna have some kind of nuke attack at some point. And it's really gonna sting. Dang, an inspiring shot right there. Couple of plasma bursts while our shields are still full. Like, yeah, dude, let him have it. Ah, we can photon beam him. Sure, why not? Let's live dangerously. See, this is the problem with living dangerously. Is eventually. You gotta pay the tab on living dangerously. I don't want to use the rest of my shields up. I gotta, I gotta soak some of this damage somehow. Twisted fire starter, keep that stacked up. Let's go shields up. Ah, unfortunately, I don't have enough left to fire with. It's doing an offensive effect. Okay. I don't know exactly what the offensive effect is going to be, but I get the distinctive feeling that I'm not going to like it. It's probably going to be extra spicy and stingy. Uh, let's go for a few more shields. An inspiring shot right there. That's what I was hoping I would draw. I need to get back on top of my shield usage. Like, it carries over in between turns, unlike Slay the, Spy unlike Slay the Spire, so I feel like it's a really good idea. Ew, gross, dude. You're going to hit me for 36 damage? Don't do that. Bro. Unacceptable. It's safe to say that I don't like you very much. I think you're kind of a jerk. 
And one time I went over to your house and it was just me and your mom there. And I asked her if she actually really liked you and she said no. So I just, I feel like that's a piece of information that you need to know is that like even your own mama doesn't like you, you know? It's probably because you ugly. Like I heard something about you not having alibis or something around the corner. That's just what people were talking about. Like I can't say whether it's the truth or whether it's fiction. All I know is kind of what I was told. You know, them boys on the corner, they like to talk. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll throw on some shieldies. Some ammunition spares. I'm gonna keep, I feel like DPS is my best chance right now. Like hurting him as much as possible is gonna be the only way that I'm going to pull through this in any sense. Uh, so I'm gonna fire that. We'll put up two shields real quick. Hopefully we soak okay, which indeed we did. He's gonna put up 10 shields right now. All right, so I need that and then I need to kill you. Bye, your giant ridiculous ship with the skull on the side of it wasn't able to edgelord me. Ooh, we unlocked the light destroyer. I want to try it. We can get a Gatling gun, deal two damage in target, and so deal two damage to the target and then also draw a card. Okay, Ion Pulse will remove this. I'm going to take the Gatling gun because Gatling guns are awesome. I like the little animations and I'm really, really in love with kind of the pixel art. All right, what are we doing over here? You found your way into a big market station. You need to prepare for the journey ahead. Spend your money wisely. You have been given five fuel free of charge. Oh, dude, proton torpedoes? Optima shielding? That'll give me full... Oh, I get full shields? Looks good to me. I wonder if those stack. Do those stack? Ooh, they do, dude. I've got plus 15 now. Nice, so I should have like 25 shields, I think. And I've got that card that instantly charges them up to full. So that'll be nice, what is that? You found a crate in the middle of nowhere. It could be something valuable, space junk, or a rigged explosive device. Do you wanna open it? Yeah, do it. We've got ring down, removes shields from all enemies and disables them. Ooh, that seems pretty strong. A little hard reset card right there, I feel it. The temple ruins. Well, don't fly. No, dude, you never fly inside the illuminated triangle. Maybe you can find some hidden treasures. Well, it looks like we got 27 bucks already. You know, let's explore. We got 25 credits, but we lost HP. Keep exploring. I just want more money. So I got 128 credits and a card. Did I just get another ring down? I thought I already had ring down. Is this the scrapper ship right here? I'm interested in this and I'll give you 120 bucks for it. Do I have multiples? If I have two of them, you can, yeah, I've got two of them, dude. You can definitely have one of them. I was gonna say, I didn't even want that second card. So that pretty much alleviates the problem I had in that I had two of a card that you really only need one of. A Volman Rebel Frigate. Okay, well, I'm gonna steal your gas can and then I'm gonna shoot you. If that sounds all right, then I think we can come to some kind of deal here. Uh, yeah, Optimate Shielding. Let's do it. 25 shields right there. Can't run ring down, unfortunately. But I can steal fuel from this guy because I am a dirty pirate thief. Alright. So what do we have going on here? I may have a few too many... I mean, I can run Optimate Shielding again. I feel like that's a really good plan. Photon beam, oh my god, photon beam plus Optima shielding, you are the best. Best combo ever. Name a better combo, chat, I'll wait. Oh, let's go inspiring shot, I guess. He hasn't actually really been attacking us, dude. I'm getting so much free fuel off this guy. I get the feeling that fuel is supposed to be in short supply in this game, but with the siphon drone, dude, you're like good to go. Bye. It was nice knowing you. You've been defeated. 35 credits and we can pick a card. Feed the core. Discard your hand deals 12 damage to target. I don't really like either of those and I don't really want them. Let's see here. You found a friendly freighter ship and they made an offer. I'll give you 20 bucks for it. All right, cool, man. I will take your $20. What is the large mass that I have detected? Oh my god. He's got 700 HP chat. 
I don't even know what to say about this. I mean, I guess we can shoot at him and hope for the best, but he's got 750 damage he can soak. And of course, Optimate Shielding doesn't show up right when I need it to show up. It doesn't show up. This is how my life works. Nothing good ever happens. Optima Shielding, where are you? Help! Dude, I'm not even gonna get through his shield before he wastes me. Ow! Alright, bro, this isn't funny anymore. Where's my Optima Shielding, dude? This isn't funny anymore, game. Where is it? Well, at least we disabled him for a turn so that we can actually deal some damage. His health bar isn't even moving. Oh my god, full shielding. Dude, oh, I could have ringed downed him. Oh no, I didn't see it. I'm going to die now. I'm going to die because I'm terrible at my job. What was that? You, what was that ship? What was that? I mean, obviously it's a good opportunity for me to run the Light Destroyer now, which wasn't in the game last time. So we're seeing something new here. Officially called the Panhuman LD-75, the Interceptor Class Destroyer offers increased shield capacity, but a lighter armor structure, a combination of plasma and Gatling guns, will give you adequate offensive power. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. We've, ar we've already done the little storyline. I think we're going to be okay here. Uh, we've got Kamikaze Drones deal 5 damage for each active drone. Sacrifice all drones. Ring down was actually surprisingly good. I think I'll buy the ring down. Spend 1 fuel deals 12 damage to target. That'd be nice if we could get a couple fuel siphons. That might actually work out okay, but I think we're going to have to wait on that for a little bit. Let's go down this way. I'm not going to go out to that distress signal. The last distress signal was really, really mean to me and basically instantly annihilated me, and I don't feel good about it. So prepare to feel the pain. Nah, man, I'm good. Uh, you can just take this ring down, and you can just suck on that for a second. I'm going to turn on my point defense. Oh, yeah, we do have way more shields than the other ship. That's kind of nice. Uh, I'm going to charge my shields about as much as I can. I mean, it's kind of a waste to run it again because we're only getting three out of it. How did I take one damage? What? Oh, my ship was on fire. Okay. Gatling gun, they're fun. Shoot you in your pirate buns. It's okay, I got shields for that. We'll be fine, don't worry about it. I got shields for that, we'll be all good. There's our first enemy eliminated. And do we get anything for that? We got 33 credits, we get to pick a card. So we got shield charge gives three shields. For every shield up or point defense in your hand, or we can deactivate a random card in our hand. Um, I guess I'll take that. Like, we do have defensive cards. I don't know. Probably won't hurt us to... Oh, man. Weak, dude. Yeah, disable those guys. So he's running defense now. All right, so we'll run that. I've got point defenses. We'll start dealing some damage over here just to get one of these guys worked on before they start trucking on into us because I'm pretty sure we're going to start taking hits soon. Uh, I've already got shields. We can run ring down again, so let's disable them. What a great... Oh, he drained my energy. I was wondering what happened right there. I should have had another ability. Uh, he's trying to give himself some more shields right now. I strongly disagree with that initiative, and so I'm going to keep on pummeling him so that when he goes and shields himself, he's no longer shielding a ship. He's basically, like, he's, he'll be shielding kind of this hollowed out, shattered aluminum canoe space thing that I have created with the impact from my bullets. Uh, let's see, we can deal two damage right there. Aw, oh, dude, he's not gonna die. Feels bad. Aw, oh, I got a good combo right there, too, if my shields weren't already full. That would have been nice. Yeah, well. Three to nine damage. Okay. I can soak three to nine damage. I don't think he's going to start doing anything too crazy anytime soon, but, you know. We'll just play some cards. 
Gatling running right now. Yep, just daka 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 daka. That's what I like to hear. Just daka 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 daka. That's all I want to hear this entire time while we're flying through space. You spin up them mini guns. I just want that sound that you get whenever you use a mini gun in a game. That's what I need. Everybody knows that's a satisfying feeling when you get like the mini gun or like the Gatling gun in Doom, and you spin it up and just go 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 go. Like that's the that's the fun stuff right there. I may have too many defensive cards. I don't know. We may have to sort that out. We keep having like these off turns where I don't really get to fire a gun or anything. And I'm kind of an offensive guy. I like firing my guns. I prefer to fire my guns. Like that turn right there was the kind of turn that I prefer to have, you know. We can go full decks firing, big broadside, just send it towards the enemy. We can get the siphon drone. Next turn, get two energy. We do have a lot of Gatling guns. That might actually be a nice little synergy. That's going to be a yikes for me, dog. I guess I'll run all my shields. I don't really have much else to do. Didn't really get to do anything on that turn. But that's okay, because it allowed me to get five energy on my next turn. Unfortunately, the bad news is I didn't pull any of my spammy cards that I wanted to pull. I wanted on that turn, potentially, I wanted to draw a lot of Gatling guns, basically. Exactly, like this turn right here. Although we're still ending up with like a fistful of cards that are not that interesting to me. Back down to three energy like a pleb. All right, we'll play boost up. We'll finish this guy off. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of damage on this turn because I got aggressive. Oh, no, he didn't. They actually got a low damage roll. Very nice. I absolutely 100% accept that. Uh, we've got five energy to play with right here. Let's go ahead and lock them down real quick. We're full up on energy so we can start DPSing the next guy and actually putting a couple broadsides into him. Play that over there. We got another Gatling gun. Yeah, just keep running boost up. When you've got a small deck, that card actually kind of adds to itself pretty quickly. You got a maximum damage roll right there. Feels bad. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll run that. We'll run that. Plasma burst. I got more energy than I can spend right now. So unfortunately, we're going to be waiting it out. I need to boost up. We can run that right there. Let's go ahead and ring down everybody, I guess. And then we'll run that right there. Now we're full up on shields again. Dude, we're locking these guys down hard. These dudes are having a terrible day. They just can't even finish their turn. I'd be, I'd be a little bit, I'd be a little upsetty, never forgetty if I played against this guy in real life. I'd be like, you have created an abomination of a deck, and it makes me hate you from the deepest core of my soul. Like ring down coming up almost every other turn is effectively allowing me to lock him down and not allowing him to take an action, which is really, really good for us. Oh, dude, if only I got a little. All right, well. You know, one HP left, and now he's going to... Eh, he didn't deal any damage. We're okay. Finish him off. We're doing really well in combat right now. I actually think this deck is going pretty good. All right, so power reroute. Deactivate two random cards, then draw two cards. Ion Pulse gets rid of shields from a target. Eh. Thus far, I see no reason to be super terrified of shields. I'm sure the game will conjure a reason later on for me to be afraid of shields, but for now, eh, I feel okay. Get these little interceptors all nice and tuned up down here. We've already knocked him down to almost half of his health. Eh, we'll run the Gatling gun real fast just because I want to see what comes up. Got a couple point defenses right there. I think we'll be all right. It looks like they're all trying to block up right now, so I'm not that worried about it. We'll run boost up here. We've got Gatling gun again. Yeah, just keep working on them. Don't give them an opportunity to get a damage foothold on us. There's a kill right there. We've got five energy this turn. I'm gonna run that, and I'm gonna run that, and then we should be able to full stop, just unload on him with all of our plasma cannons. And we got boost up again, shield charge, point defense, good. That was a pretty solid turn. I actually feel like I'm learning to manage the combos pretty well on some of this stuff. We'll throw that out there, boost up again so that we can keep the boost up chain going. I do need to get some shields back, so that's fine, but they're not going to be attacking on that last turn uh, due to the fact that I locked them down. Oh my god, we can ring down them again. This is a filthy deck. This deck is offensive. I'm 
Another one bites the dust. We'll take the nine right there. I don't really care about it. Uh, we don't have any defense right now, so I'm going to have to run ring down to protect myself. I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot, but on our next turn, we'll get a ton of defensive cards. Oh, no, we didn't, actually. We got a lot of defensive cards on our last hand, too. All right, cool. All right, well, unload this turd. Two damage right there. Yeah, I definitely like that overcharge ability. We're actually kind of like mashing it out right now. If we can keep our deck right where it's at and increase our maximum shield capacity, I think we'll be nigh undestroyable. We'll be looking pretty good. Let's see, repair drone. Repair drones are good. That might be helpful. Use five shields to deal 10 damage to target. We are a little shield heavy right now and free abilities are always nice. Yeah, I'll go with that. The repair drone was also equally interesting to me, but, you know, you can only take one thing. And what do we have here? A Plasma Maelstrom. Deals 10 damage to target and charges 10 shields. Oof. Yeah, I'll take it. I will also buy all of your fuel because I definitely don't want to try to hitchhike in this neighborhood. It seems like it might get a little rough. There's a lot of pirates is all that I'm saying. Like, you've made the game into a grid, and nearly every single grid is a pirate. That's all I'm saying. It just is not a safe part of the galaxy right now. I ran out of cards. Makes me sad, bro. Plasma Maelstrom, enjoy. A little Gatling gun action right there. Yeah, how you like that? How you like that? Oh, you are just getting chewed on right now. You thought you were going to pick on a smaller ship. You thought nothing would happen because we're little. You were wrong. Attack from 6 to 12 damage. I'm not going to play the Photon Beam right now just because I don't want to get... Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't know what damage he was going to deal and I didn't want to risk it. We'll disable him during that turn. Uh, give me a Photon Beam now. Really, I'm going to have to rely on some kind of lockdown ability coming up every single time we get to his turn. 6 to 12. I'm going to focus on... Yeah, we can do that right there. I think that's a pretty well-balanced turn. It's got an offensive effect going out. Okay. I can live with that. I mean, I can run... No, I'd rather not run ring down right now. Although, I think his next one's going to be the big one. So, if we don't pull up ring down right here, we got problems. You gotta help me here, game. You gotta help me. All right, we're just gonna have to soak this one. We have no choice. I didn't pull ring down when I needed it. I'll go ahead and... Oh, really? He's doing it again, huh? Gross. How's he doing it twice in a row? Ow, dude. Okay, we need to get on top of this. We need to figure... He's running that twice in a row, and that's not okay. No me gusta. I'm gonna take my chances here. But this is for the warp. I hope you guys liked it. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for coming on over and helping me sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie games. Uh, today we were playing a game called For the Warp, which is a pretty cool little card game. It's very early in its development right now. The developers sent over their newest build this morning, so I figured I would mash out a video because they've got another ship. I don't think we got to play this one the last time that we played the game, and that's pretty sweet. So anyways, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to leave a like on it. Also check out the Discord down below in the description. A uh, pretty cool place to hang out with the Nerdcastle community. Got all kinds of rooms down there for all kinds of interests. And uh, I'll see y'all live on Twitch TV every single day of the week. Bye, everybody. Don't work too hard.